There was a time when the alphanumeric M5 held transcendental place in our automotive consciousness and struck fear in the hearts of AMG drivers. Unfortunately, this car's immediate predecessor, the F10 M5, 2011-2016, was roundly criticized for being a luxury car with a big motor, a rather large, distant feeling speed instrument and not much else. In a comparison test against the last generation Mercedes-Benz Z63 SAMG, of the fortified, overboosted 2014 M5 competition pack, senior features editor Johnny Lieberman wrote. The M5 feels like a bank vault with a speedometer always reading 100 miles per hour that car, and others since, linger as reminders that the M division, perhaps only temporarily, had lost its way. Even Cadillac has driven a supercharged V8 wedge into the super sedan battlefield with its underappreciated and highly capable CTS V. BMW to react in a big way. They did dot of course. Some will argue the V10-powered E60 M5, 2005-2010, was a technical marvel, sprung from the last time BMW was participating in Formula One racing. Yet, that high-strung low-torque engine operated within too narrow a window to be an effective all-around super sedan. It was a car that was alternatively at 5 tenths or 10 slash 10 THS with little between. Arguably. It's not been since the first V8-powered E39 generation M5, 